Hey everybody, it's Marcia from Everything Wine and More, the Vintages Room Manager here. And today we're gonna to talk about Chardonnay. So if you've seen some of the other videos, we've talked about Rosé, we've talked about Sauvignon Blanc, and today we're gonna to talk about Chardonnay. I think it's one of those grapes that you either really love or you hate. Some people call it Chardonnay. It's Chardonnay Friday, Friday Chardonnay. <laughs> Anyways, it's often called the winemaker's grape because um, it, you, can, you can do so much with it. it. It shows itself, it has the ability to show itself in so many ways. Oak, stainless steel, MLF or malolactic fermentation, batonnage or lees stirring. It can be linear and lean and austere, or it could be, be really big and oaky and full bodied. So it's a, a grape that has the ability to show itself in many different ways. It can grow in cool climates. It can grow in warm climates. Again, it's an international grape variety and it's planted all over the world. But where is its home? Burgundy in France. So we have all the way from Chablis. So this William Feve here is a premier crew. So you can have something quite expensive in the range of 70 to well over $150. Or you can just have a little petite Chablis and this one is about $25. So all from the region of Chablis, which is Northern Burgundy, very cool climate. You get these really lean, austere, steely, steely limestoney, granity style of Chardonnay. And then when you move further down into Burgundy in the Cote d'Or, there's the Cote de Nuit, which is mostly red, although there is some whites there, and the Cote de Bone. Again, mostly white, but there is some red. So you can have in the Cote de Bone, you can have some very, there's some very famous regions like Poulini Montrachet and also uh, a very famous region. Oh, where did it go here? We got Merceau right here, another famous region in the Cote de Bone. So these two are well known for their mild oak Chardonnays, but very, very ageable. And as well, these can be very expensive. So you can find Merceau or Poulini Montrachet, alternatively Chassin Montrachet. So Poulini, Chassin, two towns that are represented by the Chardonnay grape. And these can be quite expensive. Um, these ones here, uh, $70-ish for the Messo, and then uh, $90 for the Poulini Montrachet. And again, you can get well into the hundreds of dollars for these wines that are collectible and ageable. So if that's something you're looking for, come and see the Vintage Room at Everything Wine and More. And then as you move a little further down, you can have like a basic, uh, what we call a bon. So basically, grapes can come from that whole region of the Bone area, but you can still pay about $70 for a wine like this. And again, Jadot, one of the main negociants of the area, and you can get really, really expensive wines too, all the way up to well over, you know, into the thousands of dollars for some of these wines. And then we have Maconnet, Chalonnet, before we get to Beaujolais. And then you can get something like this, just this little Macon Village here, very value driven, still Chardonnay, $25. Got some nice um, malolactic fermentation and some lees stirring on this to give it that creamy texture. So again, when you're looking at these bone Chardonnays, you're gonna get more of that oak presence. You're gonna get more of that creamy dairy, um, malolactic fermentation note that comes with that MLF. All right, then there's the United States. So many of us know those typically big Napa Chardonnays, not just big Napa cabs, but you can have big Napa Chardonnays too, that have a lot of oak, American oak or French oak, American oak, which will impart a lot of those vanilla and coconut flavors and French oak, which will lead you more into the, the butterscotch um, caramel sort of aromas and flavors. So here we have some examples. Here's something here, Behringer, very well-known producer in the US. So we've got two different styles of Chardonnay here. We've got their private reserve, which would be very special grapes, very special care and attention. Uh, you're gonna have some oak here, and then just their little founder's reserve here. So this one runs for about $53, and the little founder's reserve is sitting on the shelf for under 20. So you've got two different options from this great family uh, called Behringer. Uh, Napa Valley also has some famous Chardonnays. 
uh, Chateau Montalena, which in fact was the winner of the first uh, wine tasting event. Stephen Spurrier held the first uh, um, event in Paris, a battle between France and the United States and the Chateau Montalena Chardonnay won that event in 1976. Some of the other famous ones are Ramy and Rodney Strong. I'm sure you all know those names. If you're looking for something really special, a little different, this AXR here is done really well. Lots of nice coconut and um, sort of marshmallow candy, toasted marshmallows. There's a lot going on in this bottle. So if you're looking for a really unique, different bottle of Chardonnay, this one runs about $56.99. Not really expensive, but actually something that you might wanna try. There's lots here to choose from, definitely, in, in all price points. Australia, there's lots of really great Chardonnay grown in Australia. Again, you can have big and oaky to stainless steel age and restrained. One of the most famous ones, Yolumba, oldest family winery in all of um, Australia. And a lot of their wines are what we call organic and vegan. So no herbicides, pesticides, and no fining with any egg yolks or any animal products. So if you're a vegan, some of these wines are perfect for you. And a lot of that MLF dairy creaminess going on here. What are the things in common? Well, you can usually tell a Chardonnay from a Chablis. Let's be clear, Chablis is Chardonnay. So Chardonnay from other places in the world versus Chardonnay from Chablis, let's make that clarity. Uh, Ch Chablis will be lean, austere, citrusy, and very minerally due to the, the Kimmeridgian clay marine soils. Big oaky Chardonnays will have notes of vanilla, toast, baked pineapple, uh, baked apples, caramel, and butterscotch. So of course, Napa Valley Chardonnays can be very pricey. Uh, also white burgundies, very pricey and collectible and sought after, but ageable. Look for value priced Chardonnay from New Zealand, Chile and Australia. But you can also explore other countries like Canada. You can look at some really beautiful Chardonnay coming out of South Africa from De Grendel. So again, some oak presence here, but not too much. It's more restrained and you've got those really nice buttery notes going on here in this. Or something like our uh, uh, Montesalfa, another great producer from um, Chile. So very well, well done Chardonnays here, the De Grendel is probably about $25, as is the Montes Alpha. So these are um, just some Chardonnays that you can explore along with many other Chardonnays here in the store. So I hope you've learned something about Chardonnay today and I hope you'll come and take a chance on this grape and it won't be an ABC day for you, anything but Chardonnay. Hopefully it will be everything, including Chardonnay. So thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.